All right, so I'm going to take this demo and just trade the euro dollar with it because it's really the euro dollar is the most liquid pair in the tightest spreads. And this way you can trade really big and really small and you can trade bi-directionally and you don't have to work so hard. Now I know it seems appealing that uh, you always wonder these um, these uh, movie actors getting married you know so they marry the hottest person on the planet and it's like nah, it's not enough for them so they're gonna go somewhere else but people do that in trading see this is the one thing that people kind of are cheating on their currency so to speak they're ch they're cheating on their trade plan because if you built a trade plan around the euro dollar with a super a lot of these robots you'll see they're successful they're just built around one currency pair because the spreads are tight and you can take a fixed pip one or two pip broker and just trade really heavy the way that the euro behaves um, people say oh there's different personalities yeah because some of these currencies i mean come on the ruble You've seen some of these trades where it just gap opens and it's just like mind blowing. You know, in the wrong side of that, real money, you're in trouble. Just put a five pip grid up. Just try the euro dollar, right? Make your life simple. You can see ten pips. You can see fifty pips. You can see fifty dollars. You know, you can see um, all these uh, setups. You could go to the one minute chart. For God's sakes, I got a rear rear. Uh, this is also um, you could have three panels of charts, but I'm just going to call it, this is dual screen or triple screen. Was uh, Alexander Elder calls it. It's the most winning strategy because I can see what the five minute traders are thinking, and I can see what the four hour traders are thinking. The five minute traders have sold on this five minutes up. So that was their sell signal. It's upsell. I know this sounds bad. But that's the sell. Do you really think this is going to pull the trend continuation, people? You know, over a disempowered trading where they can't see the forest for the trees, they would be thinking, well, yeah, um, it went up. I'm going to sell here. And, but their target's going to be some mind blowing target. If you sold here, your target logically has to be on this particular four hour chart right here. That's 15 pips deep. Well, if that's the target, that should be your entry. If if we, if we break out, so we're just touching those wicks there. If we break down here and pull all the way back, would you buy for a, a 10 pip bounce? Would you buy 15 pips deep for a 5 pip bounce? That's the question. Now you can make 50 bucks on that if you get it right with a standard lot. So you could make $1,000 if you put in, if, if you sold right now. Right? You're getting filled on something. Or are you going to buy into this thing and load up for the bounce? That's the only two questions. I mean, it's so easy to just trade the euro. Why do people want to work so hard? I don't get it. See, right now it's a buy, right? I'll buy in a stop. 6K. So I just locked in a 6K as we go down. It'll scalp out. As if we come back up, it's looking to make just a few pips. You can see here the drama on the five minute chart. This is what blows people's minds, or at least it blew mine. You put up a five minute, a five pip chart. Now, these are the same handles. So, if I make the handles the same, perspective pip wise, this is the five on the right and the four on the left. It's a piece of cake, right? Buy on stops, buy at the market. Every five minutes is down, you're allowed to buy at the market. That's my signal. The last five minutes is down. Oh, you buy on stops here more conservatively, right? I'm running candles over here, but here's I think it's candle free. We can see where we're at in the big picture all the time, pip wise. If you wanted to see what your trade looks like on the five, you know, keeping the scale the same. So, time frame ver versus scale. If I go to the daily here, you'd be like, holy shit, why don't I buy down here? Look at this. Why don't I have, why don't I have, this is the question you ask yourself. Why don't I have sell limits in a 10 pip window up here? Why don't I have orders up there? I mean, you're really going to wait for a, a, a setup here? Can you only imagine what it looks like here? Well, it's obvious. It's, it's just, it's a psycho. Look at, here's a five minute, this is what it looks like up here. 
You're gonna tell me you were looking for inverted hammer up here? You wouldn't pull the trigger until you saw that fucking trade? Okay, so it's a buy right now. So this is a buy right now on the five minute. This all this is is you're just going to this is your time frame for scalping, and this is your swing. So you can see the big picture. You could have a swing account. All you have to do is trade the euro dollar. Honestly, if you can't, if you're having a hard time, if, if, you've, had, if you've been burned by all these fucking dumb courses that people are selling, and they haven't faced up to the fact that it's all about how, mu how big you're in. It doesn't matter whether you, well, who cares if you lose twenty dollars on a you put a put a one k in there with a two hundred pip stop, you lost twenty bucks on that trade, right? You gave the motherfucker a two hundred pip to make ten bucks. You could have made a hundred maybe if you're lucky, right? You could have made three dollars risking twenty, right? You can do that all day long. But what you're gonna realize is that if you're gonna think you're gonna nail it at the market like you're some fucking sniper, what the fuck? Why? Why? Just put the euro dollar in there. Load the fucking wagon on a 50k that's peppered 20 pips deep for three hours. Now go to the other broker, put one in for four hours, six hours, eight hours. You're always going to want to buy low. But people want to know, well, where is it after I get, you know. You can trade bounces all day long. You can trade to make eight pips all day long. You know, $80 standard line. Boom, bam, boom. They're just going off like popcorn. You can see where the hell you got to get the fuck out, right? Seriously, if you can't see this top, you shouldn't be trading. And how many pips is this window? It's five fucking pip window up there. You mean to tell me you couldn't make 10 pips from that trade all day long? Keep placing that order up there? Granted, you got to replace the order. Okay, I forgot to tell you. you got to put the fucking order back up there. They keep filling you up here. That's the closing prices. This is your head. That's your shoulder. It's a double top. It's a tick chart. Essentially, it's like it reminds me of trading just a t scalping a tick chart. But who's not buying down here on limits, right? Sure, we could come down to here. But who's not buying all the way down? Like this, just like a pig. You're only a one currency. How can you fuck this up? Even if it comes down, it's like I'm 51% winning rate. I've doubled my, uh, more than doubled my demo. So with a 51% win rate, are you kidding? So these are actually really, the ratios here aren't the best. But when, it, when this, if I put scalps in here, scalp orientated, take profits, like I'm going to just make 10 pips risking 20 and I start buying here. I'll probably make my 10. I'm putting in stops. Okay, so here, getting filled on limits. And just keep putting them in. Now you can hand drop them right here at this node. Just drag them right over that doji. Or flag. Black flag. That was the thing you had to watch out for if you were a bug. But here, like this, just throwing orders in. Yeah, scatter it. Jesus, you know, I'm already in a $250,000 position. What more do you want? Big sell-off, right? Now, so there, this we're filling the we're back filling the vacuum here, and the this is the um, pullback. The, the, here, do we have support here, right? bunch of bunch of support here. So let's come back into this, and let's trade the bounce. Right? We missed the top. If you're short right now, where's your target? Maybe just be on this wick, this last wick. So we'll put orders down there. So I'll put a dense pack in right here, scalps. I'm just looking to make 20 pips here. I'm looking to make only 10 pips with a 20 pip stop right there. One currency. It's just so easy. You know, you're going to go look at the Australian Dow, New Zealand. Forget about it doesn't make sense better you should pull the trigger on shit that's right in front of your face so if you're a sniper you know you got one fucking thing to kill you're not trying to take out a fucking mob of people that's a shotgun right so a swing trader 
just trading the euro dollar alone so you could be going you trading against yourself you could have sold on one account up here now you're getting long on your scalping account you're short here from this painfully obvious fucking quadruple top on the five minute the nice thing about closing prices is as soon as you go to the 15 it's a perfect double top right you can see that the prices were up in that window but see there's this double top, and that's a perfect failure swing. Probably even di divergence almost guaranteed on some fucking indicator based on close. But who's not buying this whole pullback? For a high probability morning scalp, market comes gushing back. We just throw orders and walk away. I mean, if you had a day job right now, I just, I'd just i load the wagon like this. Put the orders down in, like, mind-blowingville. Now, as you look at the four hour, you say, oh, it's still got some room to come back. The beauty of dual screen, uh, dual time frame is that without moving averages, you know, you're just going to look at the price movement. You're looking for structure. So you have a double top. People sold. They're loving it. The bears are having a fucking field day. But you're coming back to this on the five. Coming back to this doji on the five. I'll buy all the way down. There's enough dry powder. I'm not babysitting another. I don't have margin locked up in some other currency pair. I just don't get... I get why people want to trade. They, they have a Gartley, right? They have a pattern in their head. Now let's go hunt down that pattern. Wouldn't they be better off to just take the hooker they're with and take that one to the nice um, bar instead of getting three kind of cheap hookers, right? So... You focus all your all your trade plans on one currency over multiple time frames. So you don't have to wonder when the market starts to fall out of here's the weekly. All right. Obviously people are going, hey, great place to buy in the weekly. But the people on the five minutes like, well, I bought, but I'm getting killed. Like this is, supposed to go, this is supposed to be in an uptrend, right? <clears throat> As this is coming back, now look at the daily. Um, <clears throat> daily looks like a buy, right? But the weekly looks like a buy in the sense of it's a pullback in a bigger bigger move up. All we care about is the next um, five minutes, so to speak. Okay, so we're getting filled on more limits here. So we need enough dry powder. Let's go try to burn $1,000 today. We don't buy. This is five pip grid. We're buying every, without question, regardless, it's just about getting in uh, without blowing up the account. And put more focused orders in along the way. So you gotta, you got to put uh, scalps in there. Because we could go rocketing down and retrace, and you wouldn't have to touch it because you'd be stopped out of some stuff and stopped into other stuff. On one currency pair, mind you. You could be short right now. On something from the top even so imagine you're slightly short and you're getting slightly long okay so we're uh, 40 41 37 okay we're up a little bit now I'd say let's get in with a buy stop or two for some scalps right we've reached the target we could see where everybody's stops are we could still keep coming back <clears throat> Look at the margin level. We don't want to go past maybe a thousand dollars of margin All Right, so give yourself a margin limit And a dollar risk limit which you got to do the math on this stuff huge sell-off here, so You know on the four hour You, you have to say to yourself Well, the targets gonna be this top five pips away so I want to buy for the next 10 pips, get into about a million dollars of currency. All right, that's the trade plan. And uh, the density of orders, now this, some of this you might have to just have your hand on the trigger. If, it, if all of a sudden you're up three grand, you might want to get out. So if all of a sudden we get a flash crash and it retraces and then then you know the volatility's kicked up. Now you got to think wide. You got to go for like 10 pip uh, canvas areas, and just and then just have your finger on the trigger for you know a couple. Hey, you know what? Fuck, it's going up.
If you can't see that, you shouldn't be trading. So here we've walked down on the five minute. We're the far and left uh, side of the thing. And we're long, but I want to buy a little bit more here at the market. So I want to get about uh, another $100 of margin in there. Put some uh, scalps in and put some not greedy trades because the thing is people are thinking way down the road. Where's this thing going? We don't give a fuck where it's going. If you just sold the top of this, you are up 20 fucking pips with a 5 pip stop up here. Right? What the fuck's the matter with you? That's not enough money? You just made this much with a stop up here in that window. So, <clears throat> why, the, why do people lose? Because they're trying to do too much. Trading simple. It's for fucking morons. If you've got half a brain, you're losing. Um, because you're not paying attention to the margin usage. So it's just about how much um, and where your stops are. So since I'm very stubborn, I put very um, I'll put ratios in that are not ideal. Risk 20 to make 10, I'm more likely to make 10. I got a lot of break-evens in here. I got some stuff in here that's pretty uh, greedy. I would say risk 30 to make 80, but I have to be honest with myself. I don't think I'm going to sit there. Like, unless that happens in, in four hours, I don't think I want to uh, ride an 80-pip move when I can scalp a 20-pip move at four times the size. So the ability to change size, since you only have one uh, hooker to worry about, you can change the size of... Um, you know, the bad and all that stuff. Not much to worry about, right? Not much to think about. You can see right here on the five minute, you would know at every moment you looked at your phone or whatever, what what you should be doing. You know, should you be buying or selling? Should you be putting it ahead? Should you be waiting to get filled on limits? And the amount of times this market retests, it's just kind of stupid scary how fucking retarded the market really is. So it's how you get in, it's not what you get in. I mean, <clears throat> so the euro dollar, you know, people will not trade it because it doesn't move enough pips for them. Well, fuck, just double the order. I mean, the spread's letting you. People are uh, tricked by the uh, dramatic moves. They don't realize, you know, hey, it's not like you can scalp that thing. Scalp the guppy, right, with limits, right? Predefined uh, scalp banks. But that's true for any currency. So do you think this is a pullback? Well, I'm already long. So I'm in $500 of margin. We're just going to wait and see if they crush it down deeper. They stop me out. Now here's where your stops come in handy. If you have really uh, tight ratios, the account might go flat for 10 pips and you get picked up on this deeper bank. Some guy's saying, hey, well, how do you know you're just not going to blow up the account? Well, you don't. You don't. If you could overtrade it for sure, right? But how can you fucking overtrade one uh, currency pair? I mean, you're not looking. See, over trading means you go put on another trade on another currency pair. When right in front of you is just waiting for a 10 pip smash down. So, so, you, so they stop you out. So you make money on the next bounce. If you get the sizing right on these bounces, it's a ton of money. If you can pay attention to every five minute bar, bar right bar. Okay, we're going to go down now. Look at If we break this five minute sideways, where do you think it's going? Keep going down. So how much deeper, right? You're trying to gauge the next pocket. And just try not to duplicate any order. So you get full, um, full diversification in order placement. We're going down. So I'll take on more margin. Now the other thing to consider that the wide stops are going to become underwater trades. You have to be willing to take the pressure of losing. Not losing, but building a position is going to cost you money. Shipping and handling, fill in the blank, right? You just ordered something, and you're going to have to uh, pay for that uh, hardware. Shipping and all that stuff. Shipping and handling, as they say. Okay, well, so we're going to get filled here. But I guess stopped out. So... If I'm at like $600 of margin, if I'm not at $600 of margin when we smash down here, I'm just going to start uh, putting in buy stops, 6Ks, for a scalp, for coming back. 
is I want to be in, in at least six to a, 600 to $1,000 a margin. So right now I'm going to put some uh, a couple of buy stops in to pick up a scalp or two. And now I'm going to put in denser orders. i got a hot key here. So I'm going to lay a, um, every two pips here buying. Okay, now it's going to be buy stops. Right there, 6K. So you get stopped out. So now I want to load up on my um, on my buy stops because I just I lost I want to be in uh, five hundred dollars a margin. So unfortunately, I've just, I, I'm not gonna I could I should pull the trigger and just buy a standard lot right here, but I'm trying to stick to my I I will if this thing goes up I'll be in <clears throat> I'll be in very big so I'm not worried about that. So here I have six hundred dollars margin right there. So let's see what happens here. Now this is the ripe area. This is the top that became a bottom area. It's right. We just took out this wick. This is where everybody stops are. We're right into this top now. So you should have had a pending down here anyways. But how big is this pending? How much do you donate to this entry here? And it looks like you just barely got filled on this. Uh, if you strictly took it off this high, but if you took it off the wicks, you can see that a buy limit on this top, you're in the entry window. So our exits need to be here and here and here. One currency, just a bounce trade. Load the wagon, make a thousand dollars, you're done. Uh, what what was the what was the uh, cause for this sell off? <laughs> hey, you know what? Trees don't grow to the sky. Maybe double top on the fifteen. Um, put a trend line in. You know, breaks the trend line, fails. Climax is out here. Simple, simple head pattern. Um, support doesn't hold. You could have sold here and scalp this uh, vacuum fill. I guess now we got to buy at the market. Uh, buy a couple of the market here. So it's down, 15 minutes down, you buy at the market. Big, Bigger down, the bigger you buy. Okay. So bigger down, bigger you buy. And just trade one currency. Leave that, I mean, you could trade, you know, just the yen maybe or something tight. I don't know. You can trade the euro dollar. I mean, you can trade the euro to the pound, but just trade that. You start looking for other stuff. Now you, get, I don't know about you, but I just can't hold that much shit in my head at one time. Like all these trade plans, all these fucking things applied to multiple currency pairs. You can get your ass kicked. I mean, it's just not worth it. I mean, it's just not worth it because, um, you you can't. How can you watch two things at once? How can you fuck two hookers at once? It's just not, it's, it's not worth it. You know, it's going to be drama. You know, people want to make all these calculations, this against that, what's the dollar index? This one guy, I remember, he skips it, what's the dollar index? I'm like, dude, I'm not trading the dollar index. I don't give a fuck. I'm trading price changes, changes in price. And uh, some of the stuff, holy shit! If you were if you were short just for this uh, vacuum fill here, this bag fill, well, it's fast money, man. <laughs> you just made like twenty pips in in five minutes here, I think. So another reason why losing money is so easy in these markets is people aren't paying attention to how many pips that just dropped. That's ten fucking measly pips there. Right. It's a ten pip winner. You got into the breakout, you made 10 pips. Should you take 10 pips and run? Hopefully you got that built in to a, a hotkey that you, or you play hand play sell stops here. Do the goober stop entry. But have them streaming out where they're taking money off the table as you get down to the bottom here. And then you got to have these, the stop in reverse. You have buy limits on this and you have buy limits here. You're short, but now you're long. 
And uh, we could just blow out the top of the day now. Come up here, take a pause. Um, sellers will come in here, but maybe it takes a pause here. And maybe that's, that's the trade. It backs up. At this point, if I'm not in enough margin, like I, I want to be in. Now, here's where why you only want to trade one currency. Look at your margin. Look at what you're trading. So ask yourself, okay, when it comes out here, do I close all profits and take my 1,000 or take my 300 and dump, go flat? Because I have at my access the ability to drag and drop orders three pips deep. You think it's not going to back? If the sellers are coming in up there, why aren't you dumping out of your position? Because maybe you've got some ungodly fucking target way the hell up there. But you know there's going to be a log jam here. How are we going to get through the high of the day here? We, we fell into a hole. We get to the where the floor uh, dropped out. Sellers are coming in. So we have we have to dump there with along with everybody else, right? That's right. Even though that's not what we want, we want it to go to the moon. Go to 140, you know. <laughs> Whatever the fuck the number is. You want it to go 300 pips up. You're like, oh yeah, this is where I'm getting in. And the news is coming out, and, and you know, usually here's the the big uh, so-called stop hunt. But this is too big. A, it's too fast of a down move not to be a good bounce off of this previous top. But look at all the um, scattering, keeping these orders scattered, right? The diffusion of risk, basically. Still in big, you know. Four standard lots. One, one instrument. Tight spreads. Scalps built in. If we start to peel off about $200 of margin here, I'll know that I wrote a script that has a Five pip target. I don't actually have those in here. I've got stuff that's kind of built for other currencies, like the British pound. You can make ten pips, but here at five pips, just trade twice as big. It's the same fucking trade. I know people talk about pips, but you know, so size makes a huge difference. You know, I mean, it's just you know, if you run wide stops on big tickets. And this is why my 51% win rate, I'm killing it, right? I'm making tons of money like a casino. And I don't even have good ratios in here, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, I could trade this thing up to 100 grand. People say, oh, that's fake account. Whatever. You say whatever you want. Just obvious what you need to be doing. But people have all this. You just, you know, this is what I don't get. Why is empowered trading dragging people's head, dragging them around like a rag doll for five thousand dollar course, and they haven't shown anybody how to fucking trade one goddamn fucking chart real time? It's like let's go look at the Australian dollar, let's go look at the Canadian dollar. We got targets up in fucking unbelievableville, and I'm like, what the fucking fuck are you talking about? Give these people something they can make money for it with. To pay for your fucking five thousand dollar course? Jesus, fuck me. So, you know, come on, how cruel. I I just watched another uh, Empower Trading video today, and I just I'm astounded how like are the people in the trading room of the are they like five year olds? I mean, the way that guy talks, see, we went up here and we went down. Like, I got it. What's the fucking trade, bitch? <sighs> Fuck. Well, if we could, we could go either way. Anybody that wants to counter chain trade it. Jesus, just trade it. Well, I'm just not going to get in anywhere. We're too sophisticated for that. I mean, it's just, you know, the smarter you are, the more money you're going to lose. I'm just so pissed off this morning. But, you know, it's just ridiculous. It's pathetic. People trade down their fucking phone. Great. Put a million orders in there. So I can see right here, 150 bucks. I could get the fuck out right now. So if I if this is my scalping account, I'd be, I'm up five pips. So do I wait till the news comes out? Let's wait. Now, it seems like forever. If you're up really big... Every, this is another thing. There's this time distortion. If you're on the wrong side of the market and it's crashing down, in five minutes it drops 150 pips, it seems like that took an hour. I mean, it's slow motion life. 
because of the volatility. It's distorting your framework of pip reference. It's fucking with your head. It's like the hooker all of a sudden, like with that movie where he's got a rebooter with that, uh, with that uh, chick's overdosing, so he has to put the needle right in the chest. Um, yeah, the Bunny Bunny movie. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've never found it to perform very well trying to trade multiple currencies. Um, the patterns are the same. Time frame, uh, you know, just, you know how to make five pips with a five pip stop. And then you just up the ante. Take the size up. Go 1K, 2K. Put them all in different order, different areas. And just trade that thing. I understand people want to make pips. Let's say I just trade, you know, they go, well, let's go look at the um, New Zealand New Zealand versus the Australia. Okay, I get it, right? Let's go look at the fucking, let's go to the Asian bar. Let's pick up some Asian chicks. But how are you going to, um, you know, you, you can't, like, you're going to miss out, right, on all the different, so basically what I'm saying is, like, you have to take this one hooker and you have to get her different outfits and wigs. Right, you can, you can change, you can bling her out or de-bling her, right? She can go from schoolgirl to complete slut whore. But why would you like you don't you don't have enough money, right? To like she might even fall in love with you, right? So imagine you know this that's the uh, pretty woman scenario, right? So this is what people are thinking. They've been at the movies too much, I think. Okay, so we're waiting for our target to get hit. Who's not dumping where we took out the floor on the 15-minute euro dollar? It's so easy. You know, there's so many people in this market that the, the crowd psychology is smooth. If I went to the pound right now, and I won't, it looks like a fucking, like the, the bar was blown up or something. It's bad, right? It's just like, now I should be selling here, um, uh, I should get out of everything in five minutes because I'm on the 15 minute chart. And if the rule says sell when you're up 15 minutes, then you got to do that, right? Or do I sit through this thing till, um, it, you know, another 15 minutes? And it's going to go sideways probably at some point, right? It's going to have to take a breath. And maybe I won't have a chance. Maybe it's in the next five minutes we're going to pound through that floor. Comes back and pauses now. At that point, you could dump. If I'm up 300, I'll dump and reload with uh, limits beneath. Because if you think it's not going to pull back two or three pips, then you're, you're crazy. Right? It's always going to pull back one or two pips. Look here, it pulled back five pips, ten pips. In, in a larger, we'll assume this isn't an uptrend, right? What do you see on the screen? It's up, right? But if you take the whole framing of the screen, 50% is dead center on the 15-minute chart. If you go to the half-hour chart, you have a different view, right? Really, perfect top, bottom here, and here you can see the floor here. Right? So you can go between these two time frames and not lose perspective. Came back to this. Go figure, right? Fell in the hole. So easy trading. Don't have to go trade all. You don't have to fuck every whore in town. That's all I'm saying. To have fun. The trade should be fun. It shouldn't be this, like, oh, my God, like, oh. And then this thing, oh, well, you know. <laughs> look at the monthly. Monthly? Man, I'll tell you what. I mean, sure, look at the monthly if you want to pull the trigger once every three months, right? What is the point of looking at a monthly chart? Well, I guess this is the idea that you're um, planning out this wedding for this hooker that you haven't even rented yet. Same same thinking. So who knows how this is going to end. We've only got um, eight hours of trading left. If it makes it to here and I get out with 300, that's fine with me. We can always get into more trouble later with, um, well, we could also wait and get in at the market on say the five minute chart but seriously right here you should be selling right right here you can take your two hundred dollars and, and and leave and then put in buy limits because 
we could come down again. They just trapped these guys on this. Uh, and what's the ATR? Right? What is the ATR? The most critical thing for a stop entry on the five minute. You could trade the five minute chart. You can't go trading the Australian dollar now. Right? Here you could have, you could have, this is one more sell. Sell. Right? Doji sell with a tight stop. Real big for just a blast, a baby blast. Okay, we got uh, two more minutes. I'm going to get the hell out of here as we come up into the floor that we took out. Going to wait two more minutes. Okay, here's the 15. The ATR has dropped, and uh, people that are running buy stop bots on low ATRs, they just got filled on the long side, and their protection would be on the, on the south side. And I just cashed out of something. So I just took about um, 50K off the table there on a scalp. So as we come up, in, uh, the perfect world is as this thing comes up, it go, the account goes totally flat. Another thing, we don't have any other currencies on this platform right now. We can see exactly why we're using this much margin. I'm just talking to myself now. I can't focus. I'm an easily overwhelmed person. I can think deep, but I can't think like... I just can't take every I'm like I've been to people's houses and I say to them gosh you just where'd you get that they go that's been here the whole time okay great thanks um, you know three years I've been in their house but they must have cleaned it or something I'm just gonna say they must have touched it moved it like the autistic people right you move shit in the room they freak out so everybody has a little bit of autism in them um, well it's just called focus right but you live in an informa information um, explosion world and it's just too much. It's just way too much. Stop it with the fucking New Zealand versus the goddamn ruble. Um, it's just bullshit. I just don't have time for that. So, just trade really heavy on one instrument. The same thing with a guitar. You have a nice, you only play one guitar at a time. Nice guitar, nice amp. That's your luck. That's you. And, uh, all the different songs you can play on it but you have this one rig and you know the you know the dynamic range and you know you know you can just you know because some of these things i mean the british pound like unless you're good ready to put on a fucking hedge i don't know how much time you have that's something i would donate to, i would delegate that to somebody here place hedges for me on shit i can't look at because i don't want to have to think about it where you get out right here so they're just um coming up into the target here waiting for the news so it's bad enough that you have to wait in the one trade that you're in right and you got some other i i did i've done it it all comes back to when it comes back right down to it you have to pick are you gonna play guitar or are you gonna play bass and just play it sure you could play you know, I play a bunch of different instruments, but when it comes down to it, you, you like the one that you can do full expression on, you have enough chops to play really good. So I could do that on guitar, but, you know, I could play stuff on keyboards that I think to myself, God, that sounds gorgeous. I would just put a guitar a track on top of that. I don't think I could rip a shred on piano, right? Or, or people that shred on drums and piano, Jesus, you know. These people that do these piano, piano runs, I'm like, I'd rather lose money trading. Okay, so I just got out of something here. I'm down to 620. I can see what's why, why my margin is being reduced. And my profit's a little deceiving because as I bank money, the balance would go up. And uh, this is the first time I actually saw real money was a Forex account. See my action because... The old days, you couldn't see your... You get a statement at the end of the month, believe it or not. So to see real-time, your equity is pretty pretty d disorientating sometimes. Like, oh, geez, really? Wow, that's... I think we get out of here. Um, and this, so you peel out... We just peeled off some more margin. If we got down to like $200 of margin, you could just let it drift up, maybe. Or you could just get the fuck out and call it a day. So I'm actually up more than 150 because I've banked some here as we take off these little orders. 
So yeah, you can make a lot of money from a bunch of tiny orders. I mean, some of those were uh, 6Ks though. So the, the, the scalpish uh, orientated ones were 6Ks and I still have a buy that's way up here with a not so tight stop. So I can also see all the orders left behind. So people say, how can you manage all those tickets? Well, on one currency pair you could. Another thing, if you open the platform, you're going to be able to find uh, what where the buys are, the sells, right? If you commingle this, it's so hard. You can see these are the buy limits below. You can see whether they're flash in color. Um, see, this is your um, biggest losing trade. You're not commingling all this stuff. Everything's uh, in the buy direction also, because your sell is is my target. Okay, here we go. So we just got out of like um, a bunch of stuff here. All right. So here comes. Uh, we just cashed out and everybody just sold. So perfect world, right? Now we could say, you know what? I think it's still going to come back. I'm going to buy here. Let me buy some. I want to get. I want to reload the gun. I think we could go higher. Let me put in some buy limits here. All right, different prices. We could come smashing back, there's no doubt, right? After that, and, and this is the reason why you get a reaction like that there. So we got out perfectly. We took off half the margin, right? Still up 100. We just banked, I don't know, 100 something. But it's the mechanics of trading this thing. Here's 1K, right? 1K right there. I made a grid that was just one banger. Here, two pip range, right? Three pip. Uh, I'll, I'll post this again. This is the uh, current, uh, it's the link. It's, uh, I still got more take profits here as we fill this next vacuum. So I'm going to ride this into the news. So it's taking me along. I can see where I would have bought, but I'm already long, and that's the breakout here of this low ATR. You need, you need a, a script for that, or you need to realize that you're already in. Hey, you know what? That's a buy signal. They take that out. I stay in. Five-minute chart, right? Four-hour chart, rear view mirrors. Oh, you know, maybe they're going to come all the way back to here. So this floor. Right. This would be the target for the day is this floor at um, 111.90. Right? Almost one, one just, just below, 10 pips below the round. So, coming, now we're coming back through in the floor and we could blow out the top of the high of the day. We could just stampede on the news. We could just rip through the high of the day. I'll be getting uh, cashing out the whole rip. I'm still in a one and a half standard lots. And just let that go. And then, hey, I don't know. Sell limits above, buy limits below. There's also scripts uh, I, that, I, that I wrote once that was a hotkey. It throws limits above, limits below. Bidirectional limit entry. It doesn't care when the, when the volatility kicks up. It's throwing limits scattered above and below. Because you're, you can't get in on stops when the market's screaming, it's too late for that. You're either going to get the reversals or you're riding, hopefully you're riding a winning trade. But we're at fair value now. We made it all the way to the, the, the real floor here. This is the floor on the, on the half hour, right? Got to get out. So we're going to get out here. I'm going to go flat and put in li limits below. So I'm going to dump all my winners. And I'm going to hit the hotkey and come back in with f two, three, four, five pips deep. I've already got limits in there. So I can stop right now, walk away. Right? It's no brainer, right? We're still slightly long. We're in two, we're in 2K. So I'll get very aggressive. And I'm going to put buy limits in. Uh, and I can hand place them all the way back to retest. We could even come slamming back here. The news could come out and we could come into here. You gotta picture the possibility 
that if the news came out that it's not like we haven't seen this happen before that the market could just plunge look at this plunge here last night you could have fucking put orders in here and bought this whole area <laughs> right a 10 pip window buying every uh fifth of a pip every tenth of a pip so we're we're nearly flat here so we banked this um sell limits uh, above here right you put scalp banks up here it's very conservative the four hour it's like geez up here see my sell limits right there dead on the right where it's supposed to be so putting orders up here you see if i put a, a sell limits up here on the on the on the five minute on the, the half hour chart you can't even see them right you can't even see them but this is the window where people are like you know what let's get out you know that we've we filled the vacuum this whole trade took an hour you bought here at the end of the half hour you bought at the market um, you bought by limits here but you bought here and you bought really heavy here and you just held and you scalped that 10 pips or you or you traded the breakout here uh, low ATRs it's not hard to pay attention to one currency 15 minutes right you get filled you get trapped but if your stop is here right, that's the only pattern you need is low ATR low bars small bars this is a four pip bar you could have made five pips with a five pip stop four pips with a four pip stop all those increments um here you would buy this if it pulls back but i think they're just going to rip through but i just wanted to say that if you're trying to build the account you can't worry about some ungodly target because what if we come back we could come back to the last known uh well you can't see it here you have to go to the one minute chart you can also trade the one minute chart this way because see i can see where i'm at in the big picture this is the one minute chart there's a four hour chart so it's high contrast right um here's your top bottom on the one minute chart right with a little wick top becomes a bottom right doji buy limit double top failure swings as long as you can see in the rear view mirror where you where you're at in the big picture sure maybe it's like 15 minute chart one minute chart right but the the pip to pip you know here look at pulls back buy right buy at the market pulled back buy or hold right it's a it's a hold for you you can see where you're at structurally right now it's probably going to keep going up so i want to chase it buy buy right now buy before it breaks out those wicks so here i am buying at the market buying right on ask i just got in like uh 30k there now I'll put in some scalps see how far away that stop is that stop is like forget it right you got to buy before the breakout so we're long i'm going to trade one more blast to the north and uh so that was a judgment call what will you dump where the sellers are going to come in obviously and take that money and free yourself now i'm in 40k so i got sell limits up there too so i'm long into limits into sell limits so if i'm only trying to make 18 pips with a 12 pip stop here's where you pick out okay i'll make 10 pips up here with a 20 pip stop and where does that fit into the big picture landscape way up on this doji right so you can put a whole power pack up here of scalp banks right where you figure there's going to be a battle see so look at that breakout now you buy again at the market breakout is it yeah they trapped all these uh, uh breakout traders we got in before that though right i had a couple bad i put a couple um well, i got that bad stop up there but see just pull back buy at the market right one minute chart in the rearview mirror 
you have the four hour chart. You have perspective on one currency. Now it is difficult. You're gonna if you trade like this, you're gonna find it very difficult not to go look at the Australian dollar. But you should only do that on the weekends, right? Only cheat on your hooker on the weekends. Okay, so we're gonna we're going for a monster move here. We got pulled into that uh, late stop entry here. We bought that. They we're trapped. Now they're fucking us. So that was a that was a five pip burst there. It was definitely a good. Um, if you're looking at the half hour structure, you see we just raided that. Now it could go off the rails. The news just came out. So the news is out. That was pre-news psychosis, I think. We could go right through the top here, right? The dollar would go through the floor right now, probably. We don't care. We're not trading that. You're up 15 pips if you're holding from this pullback on the half hour. You can see the one minute, which is essentially a tick chart. It's it's uh, about. Can we take out the high of the day at this point, really quick before the stocks open? And the stock market looks brittle. Like if you look at the S and P 500, all this shit. It is so overbaked. There's a complete imbalance. Besides, they raised interest rates here, and they, they knew they were. So what the fuck? Who cares? It's too many people. The euro is going to go up. That's fundamental bullshit I'm talking about, but it doesn't matter. What I'm talking about is the vacuum above us still exists. And look at the four-hour. This is amazing. Uh, here, the one minute, four-hour left, left panel. Are you serious? Look where it's been. It only has to make it to here, and it hasn't even. It only has to make it up here is your, uh, you know, fifty percent, thirty-eight percent, whatever the fuck. You go up like ten more pips here, Let's get, start getting uh, filled on limits, in the big picture. Right, look at that. Now, this is a lot of pips. You don't need to go to another currency pair. <laughs> that is a lot. Jesus. See, people say, well, the markets are really, in the summertime, they're just not, that's complete bullshit. You're just on the wrong time frame. There's so much money to be made on a five-minute, one-minute chart if you've got a trade plan for that time frame. Okay, so here's the floor. It's being negated. We're five pips into that. So I'm long here on real money. i got a swing account going, but... Just showing the scalp thing. Now I'm up 22 bucks. Uh, I go. F I get out right now. I'm gonna go flat. Take my 22 bucks and put in buy limits. They kind of got me trapped on that. Uh, okay. I just went perfectly flat. Now let's get in on limits. Like you think it's not coming back? I'll put some hand place limits in here. So right here, you could say, oh, I'll just reload. Maybe it's not coming back. But whatever, I'm up. Right? And i got sell limits above here to get filled. Let's see what happens up here. Okay, looking to take out the high today. You'll, you'll, you'll never lose taking a profit. See, the buy and hold people say, oh, no, we should have stayed in there, All right? Okay, we sell, sellers that come up, up here. We're going to sell up here. Okay, now I would say let's put in some uh, more buy limits. Come all the way back to the starting gate. One minute chart. This is two pips deep. Two, four, six, I think. Progressive. So we could get a we could get a little pullback here. Put some uh, small tickets here. Now this is the five minute chart, and you're like, oh my god, Jesus, All right? Five minute, one minute, completely different worlds. Yep, pullback, time to buy. Got a flag on the one minute. So look at this little battle down here. This thing just went up seven pips, 70 bucks on a standard lot. 
Five, 15 minute triple top. Half hour triple top. One hour double top. Four hour. Long way to go up into these cells. So now you can start putting in some bounce off the ceiling orders. Follow the bouncing ball. So I got my buy plan in, my sell plans in there. One minute chart. They just trap these breakout traders on that flag. One minute flag. So you just blow by blow. Um, look, the, look how tight these orders look. These are my buy limits on the four hour. Are you kidding me? On the one minute, it looks like they're never going to get filled. And the one hour looks too close. Okay, we're going after these wicks here. Pop that top off. We'll start getting filled on cells. Kaboosh. Five minutes, okay? The five-minute traders are on this bitch. Look, at never, never let up. About to take out the high of the day. So, who couldn't see this coming, right? If you're, if you're still long from that original entry, you got to think about starting to cash out here as we come up, and I'll be selling into their cash outs. Uh, this would be, you got uh, 55 minutes before the... Uh, Stocks open. Last day, we could we could just go nuts up here for ten pips, ten pip burst here before the top of the hour. Kind of itching to retrace on this, and it's just easy, right? We don't have to go look at another currency pair. We know right now if we're long and we're up a million dollars, we're getting out right now, right? It's overbought. But if you're only up 50 bucks, you're riding it, right? So the dollar, the amount of money that you're up on a trade matters. It just simply matters um, because you're trying to make money, not pips. Making pips is just bullshit. It's just a, it's just a distorted concept. It's like saying you drive your car at X per hour. Well, what is it? 100 miles an hour? It makes a difference whether you're driving 1,000 miles an hour. You can't just say per hour, you know, pips. Okay, but uh, so here we are just about to just about to break through here. People are selling up here. They've been trapped on that two-hour ledge. If you're in really big, you're getting out here. Most likely. Right, because you just cleaned up. All right, so I'm getting out along the way here. And think about it. One, one currency on 20 computers running 20 different robots. You're going to kill it. You'll make money. Want to trade robots? Write 10 ATR bots, get 10 uh, cheap $60 laptops, these mini books. Windows 8 or better, have it run a uh, mouse recorder. No brainer, right? Free employees. Look at look at the pullback. See? So if you're up really big on that, you had to get the fuck out on that one-minute chart. Now you can buy at the market. Anytime it comes down, it's a valid buy. That's a signal. But the five-minute chart, the bigger, so five bars. I mean, five-minute chart, one-minute chart. If I put a buy limit right here at this doji, right, good place to get in. Right, it's a good place to get in because you're buying low. It fits the parameters of buy low, sell high, and I still got all these buy limits pending. See, trapped them. Struggling to take out. They scalpers came in here with had limits they they grabbed them now they got the the um bulls by the balls there and the spread's tight we can see that 
just about to get filled, and that could be some ungodly sized trade right there. For me, it's not. It's 10 pips to make 20. And there's probably stops just below this one minute ledge. And then we know that there's stops down here, so we would buy all the stops off of these people. Take it out of the uh, weak hands, the strong hands. But see, no fill here. So we had to pull the trigger at the market there. One minute down in a fast market. You don't even see this take a breath on the five minute. They can't wait to take this thing to the roof. Uh, this looks uh, like you'd have to be getting out here on something. So at the end of one minute, right, sellers are already coming in. So we may get filled on those after all. But you can just trade so big and so hairy on this pair. I mean, it's the most fluid, liquid pair. It really doesn't get any better than this. But I know people, that, the exotic, what's worse than a hooker that can't speak English, right? You can't even tell her what position to get in. How are people dealing with these other currency pairs? I can't even pronounce it. And they're calling it the kiwi. I'm like, okay, like fruit, like kiwi? Oh, no, that's called the guppy. When somebody told me the guppy was the pound versus the yen, I go, we got a problem. I didn't think I'd be trading fish. See, look at, they're going to fill me on these limits. So you can see the yin and yang of the market here. Big pullback coming right. But if you think that your target still take out the high of the day, we're buying up pullbacks. We just got filled. Oh, we just got filled. See, we dumped that whole thing up there. Yeah, it's still in. I'm in 10K. Right? No shame. Here, I got 20 pips stop. So let's buy. Um, and you can see exactly everything you lay out here, what it's going to cost you. This is risk uh, $4 to make $5. This is risk $4 to make $6. You just keep putting me all the way back to the starting gate. Okay, so we just got filled in. We, now we can put some, uh, I think, a buy at the market. A little bit um, better to get filled on the limits though so time frame matters and pips uh, matter but the size is is what really matters on top of five pips so if you pull the trigger at the market right there and of course look it comes back to the five yard line so we got filled on limits we got filled on that hole that's the vapor fill for that is the vacuum on the one minute chart just got filled so i say if you're up a million dollars at the top of that thing dump and reload get back into a half a million and just be trading one currency you make a bunch of money you won't have to fret it but you'll be compelled to understand the the like if it was that easy to get this girl to marry me, surely I can get a hotter check, right? Well, that's what I thought. Maybe that's why I'm not married anymore. But uh, you know, this is what comes across your brain with the trading thing. And um, I guess if presupposing that the woman you were married to had a bunch of money, so I guess that's the trade, right? She wasn't hot, but she was rich. I had a buddy that signed up for that once, and then he felt like he was the chick in the relationship and he had to get out. But, uh, yeah, so we're still waiting for the market to go up here and hit my sell limits, and I could actually get into a hedge here and just stay in this long position through the top of that and wait for the news to come out. Let's see where we're at here, um, top of the hour. Maybe we'll be cashing out, actually take out the high of the day. So the scalpers had their fun here. They were able to get in here and make an easy five pips off of this one-hour ledge. So you can see it happen on the one-minute chart. Um, and, of course, you could run the five over here, but it's better to run the one-minute chart because I don't have a tick chart up, so this is the tick chart, so to speak. Or that's the trading time frame. Right, this is your structure. You're, you're near the highs, but can we take out the highs? So the scalpers are done, possibly. 
We also have a top becoming a bottom right here. Will it fail? So the failure of this bottom becoming this top and rejecting here at this doji, this is the pivot. If they take that out, forget about it. We're going up. And actually, if you're going to babysit this thing, you can see you just missed pulling the trigger there at buy at the market. So you're getting in a 1K there. And you got a 3K below you to get in. And you can see the one hour uh, framework. And here, low ATR breakouts here. So you, if you got in here in a five pip window down here, if you bought down here in this window and then you dumped, so you bought like a whore here. You ride this up, um, and maybe you're selling along the way, getting out. But this. Here's a buy signal, and here's a buy signal. There's only two buy signals, so you would have bought here, and you would have bought here. This one maybe got stopped out of this one you bought just because it's down, because the bears are in control. And so you got in there. Uh, oh, it looks like we're going up. So I'm going to buy the market here. I guess I'm going to stay in my longs. Okay, I missed that entry. So we're long, and here we are going to reject this floor on the one minute. It's happening right now, and still plenty of, of uncharted water above us and actually you know look at the big picture of the uh, four hour and you're talking about earlier this week we're at 113 we're 120 pips below you're up 120 pips if you didn't get out last night if you didn't get out yesterday on your euro you missed out on 30 pips so you're up almost 150 pips so if you didn't get out you're just greedy and you're retarded so here we're waiting for this one minute chart to update and we're stuck here sideways how does this resolve itself maybe it does come down and we pick up more tickets i'm up a dollar 73 and i'm just sitting tight so if you if you're starting off with 50 bucks or 100 dollars in the account you can see your total risk plan right here you don't have to go to another currency pair and torture yourself with the fucking bad spreads. You can put a scalp in here. You can see where all your tickets need to go, and you can have the same. You pick up your phone in the car, what's on it? The fucking euro dollar. You can trade while driving. You know, going to the other charts, I just don't get. Look at this. Look at this pullback. So you can add here at the market. Right there. Buy the market, right? Buy signal. You're bullish? Think it's going to take out the high today? Every minute it's down, you buy one at the market. Add another 1K to your thing. Goes up, don't touch it. Let it go. Let your, let your entry become a winner. Let your sniper shot become a dead, uh, a dead terrorist. And you've got pendings below here, so I could walk away from here and just go, you know what, I don't, when the stock market opens, we could come viciously smashing back into here. Don't forget, this is the t this is resistance. It's proven it twice. This bottom became a top twice. So you're range trading here. You're accumulating for a move up. Now you can't buy. It's going up. You're chasing. On the one minute you're chasing. You barely see this moving on the hourly. If you go pip for pip. You kind of lose the drama. Here it gives you about uh, about the same pip range here. So dual time frame. I'm on down dollar seventy four. No sweat, right? We're about we could possibly get filled on an immense amount of K. So if you think you're in a a small position, it could get really big really quick. Just around the corner. Is another plunge if you're a buyer so I like to buy it's easy to envision a bounce I can I know where the sellers are coming in I could sell too I sold uh, on the demo last night uh, yen and stuff like that I can do all that stuff but it's really annoying to trade other currency pairs uh, you always know where you're at like here you know um, if you if you just trade one currency you always know what time it is you always know what price it's at I mean you're just living inside the currency basically it's just obvious 
And uh, you know the trade plan you should put on. Because the stop you're using is telling you what time frame to trade that on. So here's a buy at the market. Oh, I got a buy signal. It went down. So just buy. And the limits are sitting there. So I still have the potential of getting filled on all those limits. If I'm buying with a 3 pip stop, and I know I got buy limits 20 pips deep, then I'm willing to have the account go flat for a while and not be involved in that trade. But for me, I always like to be in as much margin as possible to get those scalps in and have enough to pad the account so I can trade a little wider, a little more swing orientated, orders where the, the banks are wider because I know there's probably going to be some drama while I'm sleeping on the, either the north or the southern side, and I want to take advantage of that. So here it looks like we're accumulating for another run at the high of the day here, possibly. So we've got a double bottom at the five-yard line on the one-minute chart. Confirmed. We're long. We're long on limits. Ideally, the more limits that you're successful on, the better trader you are, in my opinion, because you're able to place your orders at key zones and realize that that is always going to be a good place to buy regardless. You know, buying on the stop thing is, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's confirmation on entry. And you really babysit the market for stop entries. Like right here, I can put a buy stop in. So I'll put a, I'll put a buy stop in. Just above that uh, wick, 6K. And here's the buy limits. They could last, uh, say, 15 minutes. You could have a, a script like this that lasts um, 15 minutes. Five minutes, I don't think they'll let you put in there. They reject those short-term trades. They, the, the brokers won't probably let you. Now, you can over-trade it now, even on this thing. So you put in orders super bad, deep here. So now you're putting orders on the structures on the one hour. These are the swing trades. This is the scalp trades. Right here, so you're scalping on the one minute, and if it comes rat, rat smashing back, stops you out of your scalps. Trading just one currency pair alone, that's how much opportunity there is in these markets from a standpoint of the market could spike down 100 pips, and if you got that trade plan sitting there to take advantage of that, just like this, we could smash down now. Right. Looks like we're going to backfill again. Right. So more more fills on this. And at the end of this minute, I could buy at the market. I just got to buy a signal, right? It's down. Oh, looks like they're going to fill me. So perfect, perfect backfill. Get about $100 of margin here. See, don't worry. They'll pull it back. So the guy that sold this ledge, look how he's up now. He's up 20 pips. Who's trading that? Who's doing this scalp? Scalp off the ledge. You got to stop here. Your sell limits are here. You're up 20 pips. See? Counter trend trade. Easy money. Look at they're filling me up here. I'll be, I'll be in uh, 80k right now. Okay, so buy stops. Buy at the market. The, the bigger it's down, the more we buy. So I'm gonna buy at the market. Big moves down like that and wait another minute. We could come down again, fill more limits, and buy more at the market. So this is this is it. Look at this pullback off of that. 20 pip winner. I'm sorry, 10 pip winner there. I thought that was the, this not this five pip grid. 10 pips off of that. Hundred dollars standard lot off the top here with a stop up there. About three pips stop. To make 10, 3 to 10 ratio right there. Still waiting for the crush down to this five yard line. All the way back to the floor. Notice this is the floor, right? On the half hour. So the people that sold that, thinking it was going to go down, they had to buy back. They just got creamed up into this. If bottoms become tops, this is the pivot for everybody. Just getting now, 
Now I'm going to buy at the market again. Another one minute bar down. And I'm going to buy pretty big there. So let's get in here and uh, let the buy stops. I have a bad buy stop up here. See, I could delete that now. I'm only running this one currency. It's very easy to find that buy stop. Go down to the uh, here it is, buy stop, right? One buy stop, 6K. So we don't want to overpay. Everything's a limit, hopefully. Come all the way back to this pivot now. Here's the standoff. Come back to fair value. So this is unfair value. This is the scalp entry up here. All right, we scalp, make those 10 pips, come back to fair value. Now what? Does it go unfair? Pause here and go unfair? Does it crush back and fill me here? Or does it pause for a while here and when uh, stocks come out, stock market opens and we go go after the high of the day? Or are we just going to smash back here and make money off of these uh, buy limit bounces I laid in there? So 41.66, I'm at. Okay, I'm up a little bit. I'm buying at the market. And um, I'm looking to take out the high of the day for real so they trap the breakout traders here if you look at the four hour um, they've been trapped for a while now if you throw you wouldn't want to trade a break out of this four hour bar because it's too big an ATR so you had to get in down here to break out of that fractal so if you look at the um, floor this is where the sellers knew they had to get out on that scalp so one hour chart, one minute chart. So still looking for a more, more sell off here. Pick up, uh, get back into like uh, five hundred dollars of margin. Be perfect for me. Uh, top of the hour is coming. Stop buying because it's going up. So big down, big buy, five pip stop maybe to make five pips. So it's down again I'm buying. It looks like that um, that floor kicked in. And the scalpers are are up about 12 pips right now in this cell. So all the scalpers are killing it off of this trap, this breakout. I got still got limits to fill here. I'm getting like $600 a margin. I think I'll be have a perfect fit. We got another big down here and they've trapped these guys on this breakout so I bought into this on the one minute. Puts buy stops above for an 18k as it comes flying back. Not the best entry but the one minute chart um, still still could get filled here in limits so I bought at the market and still looking to get a backfill here. So if you think that you missed out just put a buy just put a buy limit below. You'll be fine. You'll never miss. Okay, so I'm picking up a few more tickets here. I'm not sure how tight my stop is. I'm pressing this uh, market order key here. So if we have an APIP stop here, um, we can see what's inside this button. So just make sure you get the so here are five, six, seven, eight pip stop. It's a four K at the market. You're going to make 10 pips, risking 5. You're going to make 64 pips, risking 8. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a ticket for all seasons. I just pulled the trigger, then a 4K. That was a script I just punched in. No arrows. Only arrows on the stop. So here's the buy stop for the scalp. Sorry, that was limits. Here's buy stop 6K. Trailing buy stops on the one-minute bars. To get picked up in the order flow, institutional order flow. Okay, big fill on the limits. Now buy stops. Buy at the market. I'm trying to get into that like $600 or $800 of margin here. Scalpers are loving up. They're up a clean 12 pips here from the top with the 8 pips. With the 4 pips stop, they're up 12. They, they quadrupled their money. So one minute chart. 
is the one minute chart. So in context of the one hour chart, no brainer, right? It's a buy. Think of this as RSI. Think of this as oversold. <laughs> Just pull the trigger. Right, trying to make five pips maybe. Plus I can delete these stops. If I think, if I think I'm in too much margin, just come down here and find the stops. Take off these 6Ks. Pluck these off. And now I know that tightest one is remain, remaining. If I want to trail a buy stop on top of a dropping market, I'm going to leave my tightest buy stop right at the previous floor. We just got filled on that. We just got filled on that 6K. We, wanna, we don't want to buy any more now. When this starts coming up, we stop buying. Hopefully we're in big enough. If it goes down, even one minute, I will buy at the market. A one minute pullback, I will buy at the market. So that's my rule system. I deleted these bad tickets. The arrows are still there. The arrows don't go away just because I deleted those orders. Clean and simple. One minute chart, one hour chart. One currency, one angry trader. 20 minutes till the stock's open. If it's going up, stop buying. We should have bought down here on limits at new lows, and we should have pulled the trigger at the market here at the end of the minute. So you're not always able to, even if you trade it every minute that goes by, you miss this entry here because this is a limit entry. Here you pull the trigger at the, end of the, at the end of the minute. And you didn't realize this entry unless you put in a limit bank here, which we did. Super tight, super big. Now we're still looking to take out the high of the day. We're still looking for the scenario. But see, these people are underwater right now going, man, I sure hope it goes up. I was told to put my order. Yeah, okay, great. Good for you. And the guy that's long here is like, I should have got the fuck out here. He's like, Jesus, I'm only up 10 pips. I had 20 pips in front of me. I was up 20 grand. Now I'm only up 10 grand. Ruh row. So here, stop buying, right? One minute says don't buy. So if you have to buy, buy on limits. Put in, if you don't have it written a hard coded script, just go like this. I'll buy. Here, I'll buy here. I'm going to add to my position on any pullback back to the starting gate. We could retest this, and this would prove to be a double bottom. You don't need confirmation for this. You know this to be a bottom. Wouldn't you like to buy a double bottom right now? If you trade double bottoms, put your buy limit at the first bottom. It's a no-brainer, right? And why don't people say, I don't understand why that's not a valid way to get in the market. Well, I have to have this, and I have to have that, and didn't you see the trend, and look at my moving average, and I'm like, oh, geez, okay. i got to go by, you give me anxiety attack. Okay, so we loaded the market, and we're loaded on limits. We filled the vacuum. We came all the way back to here. Now we're going to, about to take five pips here. You're up 50 bucks on a standard lot right now if you bought right here at the market. Sellers are going to come in here. I'm going to take profits on something up here. I'm underwater on these tickets. If your goal is to go up another 20 pips and blast through the high of the day as the stock market opens, it could totally happen. If stocks crash today, the euro is going to the roof. Like, typically, that's what's been going on. But maybe you don't want that in your mind because you're just scalping here. You're up 70 bucks, and this is all that matters to you is that you're making $60. Now, your sellers are coming in right here. So maybe you dump and go flat. You just made 50 bucks. Take all profits right now. All right, resistance. One minute chart. Look at You made your five pips. What are you, greedy? So you get... It's just beautiful... Uh, Simplicity of one instrument and one torturous psychological game. Do I get in? Do I get out? 
So you can go to the other, you can go to the 15 minute chart and go, oh, look, pull back on the 15. So the 15 minute traders bought at the market. Every chance they get on the 15, that was their buy. But look at the wick. Stop on, right? Still could smash down. We still got this. We could come all the way back to here. Another 10, another five pips. Could it drop another five pips? I mean, ask yourself, could a market move five pips in the next 15 minutes? Yeah, it could move five pips. So why don't you have your orders five pips deep? Because you're scared. Well, what other, or you just don't, you're lazy or you don't know that's what you're supposed to do is buy five pips deep every time you can. Get used to not buying at the market. <clears throat> Get used to not trading at the market. Just trade structure. Closing prices are structure, not the not the wicks. That's just um, it's 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 the structure on the one minute chart, right? So see the structure here. This is the floor. Sellers come in here. You're caught in a five pip drama. If you take out this wick, then you could fall into here and have a drama. So you put orders down here to to trade this drama to come. It's the drama to come. Here, buy at the market, right? You're down. Buy at the market. Accumulate. There. You didn't want to buy when it's going up. You buy on that pullback. Okay, now you sit tight. There's not there's nothing to do but wait now. So yeah, you can trade a one minute chart. As long as you have it in the context of where you're at in the big picture. I think it's okay because hey, this half-hour chart looks like a mess. Um, Four-hour chart, really. The one-hour chart and one-minute chart. There's 60 of these inside of one of those. Simple. So I was up 70 bucks there. I could have dumped. You see, I was up seven. I'm, I'm down seven dollars now. A scalper would have got out there, knowing that he could right back in on a one minute pullback and start buying mini lots. Uh, but I, but why? Just buy one case. Every minute it drops. What if it drops eight minutes? You're in 8K. And the bigger it drops, you know, plus you're getting filled on limits here. So if you turn on the comments inside the platform, which is not turned on, right mouse click, turn on comments so you can see how many are limit. Um, thanks. How many of these are limit winners and how many of these are market orders? So what is my biggest winner is a limit order. So that was a good trade because I put that order in. This is my only, I'm up 37 cents. But profit-wise, oh, here, buy stop profit-wise because that is a 6K. I think it's in. So pip-wise, um, I'll do the pips on here but uh, I guess I'm just looking at money buy stop here's some buy limits so buy stops are making money okay so we're going up and there's probably some market orders in here but this I think this is pretty sure this is 6k can't see it here I got it auto arranged. You have to turn off the auto arrange to see the size there. But see, these are the buy stops. These are the scalps. So this is how you can see. You, you know the market order here. See them like. Uh, I can't see if I have any my profit there. I just destroyed the profit when I dragged this over. It's a little dicey here. Unfortunately, the platform will not say. I'm up eight cents on that market order. My better performing tickets are the buy limits. I like to see the fills on the limits winning. Because that means the market came to me. And I guess the market came to you on the buy stop. It went through you. Okay, so now, now they're pulling it back deeper. More buy limits, possible fill. Because we got 10 more minutes before the stock's open, we could drop five more pips easy. So I still have margin available. I've got dry powder. And um, 
that's the name of the game, dry powder. One war, one currency, a lot of bullets. Ten minutes to go, I bought some more here on the retest of that low. I'll put one uh, buy stop in there. I'll put a buy at the market. And the rest of these limits last for eight hours, so. Plenty of exposure here to getting filled on limits where the market might just totally collapse. There is the half hour floor that um, was the target. Look at overshot here. I'm coming back to this price. 15 minute view is you buy here, you buy here, you buy here. Last 15 minutes, every 15 minutes you're in, you're in buy mode. Still looking for a big smash down though to really load up. Get enough fuel to make another attempt at the high of the day or it's just going to be a bounce washout. So I was up I was up 70 and now I'm down uh, $23 which means I missed out on $100 by not getting out at resistance on the one minute chart. So look how they went up by one more pip Okay, like a tenth of a pip there and that was your exit this was the floor we could still keep tanking you know you can draw your channel make the argument for uh, come down and touch this channel so I used to draw channels all the time like this and just look for them to fail and say you know what do you really think this is gonna keep going down so we're long. We're gonna get we're gonna get long here on the six k for a scalp and try to. Make, I think that makes ten pips, which is way up here, believe it or not. That's ten pip uh, winner. So you're really asking quite a bit there. It's got a ten pip stop on it though. Here it's better to buy before the right here buy before the break of this trend line. So I buy at the market. I put a buy stop in there for good luck. A little higher than the other one even worse entry but this is all in the context of the one hour chart the half hour chart's going to update here right at this pivot right at the floor so the people that sold that and they got their nuts crushed here they are at break even right now and this is why this is a pivot psychologically they buy back they're short from here because this bottom is not becoming a top and they're like uh oh this is where they had to cover. They were up a little bit on this trade as the wick punched down here. They were up a little bit on that trade. That was the time to go the other way. Buy it back. So we are looking to take out the high of the day in the end. And um, we're only down, we're up $18 now. So we're in pretty big. We're in 600 a margin. That's about what I wanted to be in. If we can punch through the high of the day, I still got exposure for eight hours on sell limits way up in the nosebleed section. But we could go rocketing up as soon as stocks open here. This will be the, when cash opens, we're going to see the reconciling of this currency. We got a perfect setup as far as um, it's drifted down, and the 15 minute guys have been pulling the trigger here one market order, two market order, no more buys. You're back at this pivot. It correlates to the pivot on the half hour, that floor. You're taking that floor out. It's rejecting that bottom. You broke you just broke out of the channel on the one minute. You just broke this trend line. You actually you broke a trend line back here earlier. Right? You broke that one. Broke out, found support at a double bottom. So one minute chart. You're looking to break out this thing and that should be your first target to make one two three four five pips if you read a script that has a two three four five pips stop and is looking to make two three four five six and literally buy 10k singles at the market with different exits for each one predefined um, scale outs you don't have to come in and, and take partial profits in a complicated manual way so you see you'd already be out of this trade on something 
that 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 run right here from here from here to here you needed to get out here because that's the trap if you're if you're high if you're scalping five standard lots here and you just made 300 bucks you just got you just get her out right. but you could do that trade over and over again sell buy sell really big right sell and you're, you're waiting for the you maybe buy here they stop you out but you got a buy limit here five pip grids about just right you could put up a two pip grid but it becomes a little ridiculous right five pips people can get their brain around five pips another pullback to the top they could go through the floor now Let's break out pullback you're already in see now I was up there 18 30 bucks I could have got out in and out in and out yeah, one minute chart that's why people have a problem with that one minute chart targets are three minutes away three minutes to your target see if you didn't get out there you're, you're down look you're down forty one dollars now it, it wouldn't actually be underwater on a couple of those tickets still but if you're greedy you go oh, no I'm gonna hold on here okay well you got four more minutes three three more minutes of torture here four more minutes and uh, there's it's a revolving door plenty of places to get in and out and uh, trying to make two hundred dollars you know if you're trying to make two hundred bucks and you see it grab it you're now you're only down 23 so now you're only down eight bucks as soon as stocks open we're gonna take the risk here and let let stocks open see if we blow out the high of the day here or we're just gonna rip back really hard I, I suspect a rip up and uh, up and down I expect some violence here now we've been trading sideways too long I won't complain if they fill me on more limits if I got enough margin see now if the stops are too tight and you want to be in a certain amount of margin they're gonna kick you out and you're not able to get the sizing right this is just a lot easier than uh, having to worry about the British pound you can only imagine what the British pound looks like right now it's just a fucking train wreck spreads wide spikes all day long just too too much you know you really have to just trade the pound and get killed on the spread spread is twice this if it's two pips on the pound and it's a half a pip on the euro you have to make all your targets and all your stops twice as wide on the British pound now you gotta bring a whole nother library of scripts into your platform and deal with that now and being right about that structure who can do that who, who are these people they're trading this currency pair I still see the sycophants on the um, empowered trading comments great chart great explanation holy fuck my brain's swelling I'm in pain who's not in pain watching these goofs now let's let's plan our trade let's break out our Fibonacci tool huh I always bring that to when I'm when I do a uh, call the service my buddy used to call the hookers the service <laughs> yeah I tell you my tequila buddy um, he got this brainstorm one day that he'd take his ex-girlfriend which is fairly hot and he decided since he's gonna break up with her and she still needed money that he would just hire her and it it worked out pretty good she took it as a business deal like they'd broken up but he says you know what 100 bucks a night come on over Monday nights the big party night so yeah that was interesting arrangement rent your ex-girlfriend dot com okay so here the news is out here cash market they just bit it down into the floor here pulling it back into the stock market it just opened 
They stopped me out of something here. Now we can smash down. We could gobble up all these limits here. So I'm going to let that get in. I want to be in about still $600 of margin here. So at the end of the minute, I'm going to buy at the market. Take myself back to $600 of margin right here, right now. Okay, that's a buy signal to me. It's down, I'm buying. Can't explain it. I just like to get it on sale. For the next order bank's going to come in here on the one hour. Okay, we got a, we got a, uh, a valid buy signal. Um, it went down, we bought. If it's down, I'm buying. If it's up, I'm selling. Okay, let's hold on for dear life. And I guess there's not too much news today. That was we just came out with the news, and uh, the five-minute traders are going to jump on here, but we're we're ahead of them. We're on the uh, one-minute chart. Five times better than a five-minute trader. Who's quicker than a five-minute trader? A one-minute trader. So what is the news? We have housing starts are down. Thank God. Building permits is down. Thank God. Let's just all sit around and drink beer. Okay, we have consumer sentiment at 10 p.m. And that'll be it for the day. And maybe we just drift up on this. Maybe we do pop the top. Maybe we don't. Um, I guess really it's going to be when London closes here. So about two more hours I'm expecting to take out the high of the day in the next two hours here. So I, I'm not in big enough. I'm going to put some long-legged targets in. I'm going to load the wagon on stops that go way up into the nosebleed here. So if you're if you're if you write scripts too tight for your broker, then you some of these stops won't fill. Like you see that one just was rejected. Okay, so this uh, it's all in for, it's all over except for the. Uh, we're waiting for, waiting for the fat lady to sing now. So we're locked and loaded. We'll probably get picked up on about a um, hundred more dollars of margin here as we go up. Let's see if we can't take out the high of the day by the top of the hour. Let's give an unrealistic target. Here comes the last piece of news is consumer sentiment. But look at the market stall out on the one minute chart here. A familiar place for controversy is this double top. So they trap people on that one minute. And this is the cash out place. I don't think we've cashed out anything yet because my targets are at least 10 pips above. So I'm up $122. I could, $130 to get out right now. Dump the whole thing and reload. But news is coming out in 10 minutes. And so you just have to make this judgment call. If you know that you can get back in the market <clears throat> without too much... Um, stress then you would just you could get in and out you wouldn't have a problem taking money off the table if the, but if you want to wait and risk it's like let's make a deal I don't know if you've ever seen this show but you want to do you want to uh, put that on hold and look for door number three what's behind door number three it just might be a donkey right but maybe you're in the donkeys maybe it's gotten that it's gotten that bad that lonely but so we're just gonna we're just gonna risk this and let it go. Up $140. We've got a pullback here. We've got a top becoming a bottom on the one minute. We got a double top becomes a bottom. We pull back into the trap. We broke out. We're still trying to hunt down the high of the day here. Ten more pips to to uh, challenge the high of the day one more time. So a 15 pip winner for the scalpers that sold the top of that. Here's the one-hour chart. We're looking to take out the high of the day. It's very simple. Stop buying if it's going up. You had a chance to buy here, but I'm already long. Chance to buy here, a chance to buy here. Just pull the trigger. If it pulls back for one minute. Now we're challenging this. So if we can break out this, continue shearing this off, five pips. we got to go ten pips to get to the high of the day. 
There'll be sellers coming in there. We'll be taking profits up there. And we've got some wide targets, and we've got sell limits way up in the nosebleed. So let's see how it plays out. News is coming out in eight minutes as, we, as we're churning up, as, as we're coming near. I, by the time the news comes out, we might be right up here, 10 pips above where we're at. We got uh, a couple minutes to news here, and we're up on the trade. Coming near the high of the day. I'm cashing out of something a little bit. 10 pips from the target. Blow out, blow out the high of the day and get some foul through, some violence. I can't say it's a good idea to sell up here, but we're just going to see how that goes. We'll have enough money, hopefully, to survive this uh, sell limits up here. They just trap these guys. If, if you're uh, playing at home on the five minute chart, see, they just break out. The place to get in was here on the pullback. Putting your buy limit at the previous top. So coming up in this window, about eight pips from the uh, the high of the day. Let's see what kind of reaction we get here on the news. Okay, ten seconds to news. The spread will probably get wide here, so we could get smashed around a little bit here. Okay, news is out right now. It's the um, Consumer sentiment. And we just look to take out the high of the day. Cashing out along the way here. Just got uh, just dumped 40k. So just let that play out. Maybe get filled on those sell limits above. So the news has been out for one minute. We're cashing out along the way here. Peeling off the winners. In a predefined scale out. As we approach the high of the day, we'll be taking profits along the way. Try to get this thing to $42,000 and make another 30 bucks here. And it hasn't even been, it's been two minutes the news has been out. Coming after those bears, I'm about to cash out here as we approach the high of the day. It's, um, Five pips to go now to get to the high of the day. So I'm cashing out into this. If we go flat here. Make $300. I think if we go up 10 pips, I'd make uh, about 300 bucks here. Five minute charts just updated. So you go to the five minute chart here. Screaming up, pullbacks do. Big ATR on the last five minutes. See here, ATR bots got filled on that breakout with a stop there and never got stopped out. So the reason why you want to cash out is look at this pullback here. Coming back to this top. That was five pips you missed out on. So that's why I cashed out. I had it built into it. Taking profits along the way. The only way to survive. So I'm still up, I'm holding, but I took something off the table automatically, predefined. So you have to predefine your risk, you have to predef predefine your profits. Um, it's just as hard to take profits as it is a loss. Because what if you dump that whole thing at the top, and then it goes up without you, and you're thinking, should have stayed in. That's going to be just as painful as, say, moving your stop because you want to give the market more room and then it stomps you out and you really take a hit. And here I don't run any trailing stops. I'm not going to move my stops to break even because I would have just got the fuck out five pips ago. Move the stop to break even, you're just kidding yourself. It means that you're just... I, I can't imagine, right? Everything should be just built into the trade plan. Look at this pullback here. So another attempt to take out the high of the day. This is the fourth try. So here, if you're buying at the market, you're buying right now in that one minute. You had to buy here, and I'm two minutes of buying. You got a top becoming a bottom here on the five minute. You would have had to buy there. 
or you're holding. So for me, I'm going to hold it because I've already cashed out of something. And I still think that the day's not over and you're so close. But look at this. Look at this scalp, right? Five pip. One pip stop down here. Your order's sitting here. Just made 50 bucks on a, a standard lot right there. You're out. Trade's done. What's wrong with that trade? Just about to go up a few more pips here. Now you're at the high of the day right now. Look at this. You're within three pips of the high of the day. There'll be some action. Well, you're also taking out a four-hour bar. You can't see it with all these orders, but there's a, there's a ledge right here on the four-hour. So here's the actual high of the day. Should get a reaction right here if you can make it. They just trapped these guys. Look at the sellers came in right on that wick. You can see everybody's trade. People that sold there, they just sold this trap, right? They sell them in here. They're hoping for this thing to come down to here again, and their stops stay here. Kind of scary to stand in front of this um, uptrend today, trying to sell it with a three-pip stop. But look at it. They're, they're up on the trade right now. They're going to have to cover at this last known top. This is, should be their... Like, if you sold here, your target's here. Okay, now we're going through the high of the day. Huge reaction here. We could slam up clean into my sell limits. I just took something off the table automatically here. So how far are they going to take this? They could blow through these. I just put them up there for um, uh, an example. Those are just randomly put in there. I'm still in. One and a half standard lots coming up into these cells. So a decent reaction here at the high of the day. We just took out the high of the day. Now we're plunging into my cell limits above. I'm cashing out. I'm up 300. Just let that go. And by the time... Uh, Definitely a big sell here at the round number we're coming up to. Big, big, uh, here's the floor. So the four hour structure is this is the target. 20, about 10 pips below the round number. So we could go sl slicing through that. Don't forget, we could engulf, you know, Forex is notorious. I don't know if we could get that today, but for the coming in and just filling this whole thing. You know, sellers are going to come in like crazy right here where this top bottom failed. Everybody bought here. If you're long from here, you're going to get out here. This is a revolving door. So let's go. Um, let's look at the one minute chart. So let's uh, wait till. Um, so you know, here you just want to get out, right? If you're if you want to take your 200 bucks, take it now. That was that was a nice blast. They've trapped these people on the daily now. Sellers should come in here. So don't be surprised if you get a pullback. There's one minute pullback if you wait for a follow through. We could go up another 20 pips easy. It's pretty clear sailing to the round number. We're about um, 14 pips from the round number right now. So here's the round number. About 12 pips to go. Pull back here, follow through. Um, there's one more piece of news coming out, I think. No, there's no news coming out. Okay, here we are, screaming north. I'm still in. One standard lot, one and a quarter. And uh, there's some kind of FOMC guys going to talk at 12.45. So by the bottom of the hour, if we're up another uh, 20 pips, we just get out of here and call it a day. You don't necessarily have to ride this all the way to the target. It's just not that necessary. I like to make fast money. 
I mean, this thing could turn on a dime right here. Sellers are coming in. You got a double top on the one minute here. Yeah. It's scary up in here. You're up in this uh, up in this vapor zone here. So, wait till the bottom of the hour, maybe. <clears throat> it's going to seem like forever here. Wait, wait till a 15 minute trader is coming. Straight clean up on the 15. Still plowing north. Here's a five minute view. This may be the only pullback you get. This would be a flag. Place to, to buy more, possibly, for a little bit more move. Enough momentum here. You got double bottom on the one minute. Still looking for follow through. So we're going to ride it out. And perfect flag here. One minute flag. You could have pulled the trigger here by at the market on that pullback a minute ago. So wouldn't chase it. I don't like buying on these things just to make 10 pips. I, I would like to be long from the from way down deep. Okay, so here's the the round number. Here's the 12 hundred level. So see they just trap these guys. So I don't like putting a buy stop on the top of some flag. You almost want to be out of the trade uh, on something there. See my sell limits. They're too close. So I could come in here and find the sell limits by price. To go back to Ottawa range here. Just can't see a fucking thing. Um, so here by price. My sell limits are about to get filled. Um, the lowest sell limit is right here. So I'm gonna take these off. I don't want to get trapped on that. Those are too close to the market. We're still going up. Or I can come in here with this uh, closed ticket and start plucking them off like this. If you think you miscalculated, it'll take off each ticket that's near your cursor tip. So maybe we want to start selling way up here when you get up into this last congestion zone. Way up in there, just for a scalp. Not like it's going to get sell there and it's going to go all the way to power or some dumbass. So. Gartley set up. Okay, so we're, we flagged out here. Every pip up is a win. Gonna ride the storm out here, I guess, until the bottom of the hour. Looks like a psycho retrace. I mean, the dollar's probably getting smashed. Um, maybe stocks are getting smashed. Let's go look at the internet here, see what the Dow Jones is doing. Okay, down 29 points on Dow Jones. To me, these stock markets are so up in vapor land. Bitcoin just uh, pulled back hard. Look at the S&P 500. The, they have very small ATRs and very creeper gear drift up. <clears throat> due for a huge profit taking. A big change in the guard. I gotta imagine these hedge funds. They're gonna wrap their unroll their positions here at some point. Take some profits. Go park your money in a bond. Interest rates are up. Sector rotation. You might see that come in stocks. Look at the S&P 500. It's so thin. The air is so thin up there. And so you're really, really uh, okay. Look, 13 minutes left here. We're gonna wait. So double top here. We got a top becoming a bottom on the one minute. All right. So we'll just stay in. Breaks out, pulls back. Big trap there. If you get it filled on stops, you're pissed. You're waiting for that follow through. That's why that confirmation entry sucks. You need to be buying down here. 
on these pullbacks in the one minute. You'd already be up on that trade about three pips. So they've trapped these people. The confirmation people are trapped. It's never fun to be trapped. Going, going up, challenging this high. If you've been trapped here, you're just about to be at break even. Another example of a retest on the one minute. You thought you missed out? You could have bought here. You could have added to the position. Now you're just about a tenth of a pip from going higher on the day. Already taken out the, day, the high of the day. This is the four hour chart. Now you're coming up into this, this structure back here, this low. That's the floor on close right there. Right near the round number. Very close. We'll be cashing out all the way up into this. And our cells don't start until way up in here. So you put all the cells up here. Capture some type of, if we get a attempt to take out the high of the week. Right now we're long, getting ready to cash out. Because we know the sellers are going to come in there in the next five pups. We've seen it once, we've seen it a million times. Same story, different day. You can already see on my other broker that we're going to go up, so I can predict the future here. This broker's a little bit, a little lagged. So we're already taking out the high of the day on my other broker right now. Expect this guy to follow. So I can see that coming. So I'll be cashing out here. If we could take out the high of the day, we pulled back. And cashing out right now for the next five pips, taking profits. Oh, couldn't do it. Just can't get her done there. So wait again. Okay, here we go. I'm just, take, I'm just taking peeling tickets off now. Up into the northern vacuum. Another five pips. Okay, just took off another ticket. I'll let that thing clean house to the upside. Okay, we're cashing out. Now I could just get I could just go flat right now. Almost near the round number, five pips away. I'll probably overshoot that. We could we could maybe smash through that round number here. Five, uh, seven more pips to go. I'm cashing out of everything right now. Take the money and run. That's it. Done for the day. Cashing out of everything right up here. Right near the round number. Never made the round number. It's not worth the exposure. So I'll go here and delete all open and pendings and call it a day. Call it a week. Very easy. One currency. That's it. Could, it could keep going up. It's just not worth all the the, the drama. Besides, so I gotta go run a gotta go run a girlfriend. So that's it. It's as simple as that. We could see our target was hit on the four hour floor. And that's it. You're done for the day. Watch this delete everything, then close down the platform and start drinking. Okay, there you go. Totally flat, no open pendings, and you're done for the day.